Alrighty, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And when we left it last time, we were in 4.3 resolution. We are now in a glorious widescreen resolution. So, uh, without further ado, let's go and talk to this hut over here. 3, 2, 1, and... I'm sorry, human! The betting window's closed! No more fights right now! People are sick of seeing the same duelists all the time! It's bad for business! Unless... My name is Archie. I organize all the duels here. We need a new face in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring. It can be a highly profitable venture. Money, you say? I might be interested. What's in this for me? Your bargaining posture is highly dubious, but very well. I shall provide you with a new body and new troops to command. And, and nothing. You belong to me now. I belong to nobody. Perhaps I misjudged you. Proceed on your way to oblivion. Oh, okay. I can arrange for you to fight in the door ring. If you win, you get the standard contract, 10% of all wages. And don't worry, nobody dies in the door ring anymore. Death matches are illegal now. Goddamn bleeding heart liberals. Ooh, you can't have people dying. Most fighters in the door ring use vibro blades or stone sticks, because the ring's pretty small. But a few of the duelists use blasters. Use whichever you prefer. Hmm. Vibro blades and yes. blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? I don't know. The dual ring has energy suppressor fields to make sure nobody dies. Weapons are limited so they hurt but don't kill. And we've got a medic droid on in case of serious injuries. Are you interested? Goody numby bumby medics. Ooh, I've lost my arm. Help. Well, we could attempt to persuade uh, this hut, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it right now. It's not going to work. But what the hell, we could do with some money, so... Okay, I'll do it. Good! New blood for the ring! <laughs> but you need a nickname, like I saw Deadeye on Twitch. Good nicknames make people bet more. Uh, what's a good name for you? You're an off world then. Can you hear? People won't recognize you. I know. From that one in the door ring, you'll be the mysterious stranger. The mysterious stranger? Hmm, I like it. Well, it certainly does say, uh, sound better than Granny. I mean, you know, Mysterious Drunch is something that's going to put B into the heart of our enemies. I mean, if someone says, um, and now your opponent is Granny! They're going to be expecting, well, I suppose it would throw them off balance. They'll be expecting an old lady with uh, no teeth and a Zimmer frame. Um, but now uh, we'll go with uh, the Mysterious Stranger. I like it. Look at him. See, he likes it. Oh, yeah, baby. Smooth. The Mysterious Stranger is a perfect name for you. You've got no past, no history. It makes you seem like you have some big, dark secret. Foreshadowing. People like that, it makes them bet more. This is for the best. Mm -hmm. We could use those credits could. as duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back in the Endor Spire. You ready for a duel now? You want to step back into the ring right away? I'll set you up with Dead Eye Duncan. I'll tell you the rules when you're ready. I'd just like to um, backtrack about 20 seconds, if I may. Um, you and Anasi at the back there, Carth, buddy. You thought it was a sensible and perfectly safe idea to make our secret hideout an impenetrable fortress, a rundown building not 200 yards from where we crashed. You, sir. You are no authority on what is and what is not a safe course of action. I am, however, ready for a duel. So, let's go kick some ass! Yes! You find some people bet and I make money. It's all good. Only one rule. Nobody dies. Your opponent goes down, you don't finish them off. Death matches are illegal now, because Nambi Pambi... Ooh, God, that's a violation of human rights or some such nonsense. <sighs> anyway, let's get on with it. You know this, so I'll start you off easy. You get to fight Deadeye Duncan. Are you ready to go into the ring now? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. 
We have a very special presentation really? in store for you. Oh, I suppose I am you very special. In this corner I give you Dead Eye Duck. Yay! Shame isn't Dead Eye Duck really. You know, from um that rather fantastic cartoon from back in the day. Uh Bucky O'Hare, who's the gunner on the Rogers Indignation. No past and no those were the days. But I digress. Journal entry I did. I don't know what the journal says actually. I don't think I've ever looked at it. You've agreed to join the terrorist dueling circuit. The non lethal duels seem quite popular with the spectators, and you stand a chance for substantial profit. Go speak to IGL when we want to duel. Alright. Dead Eye Duncan. He is the terrorist dueling equivalent of Dan Hibiki. Only not quite as tough and not quite as cool. Um, apparently, there is. I feel like a bonus scene with this guy. If you let him beat you. Um, he will crop up, I think, I'm right in saying, he will crop up later in the game, uh, because his, him beating you will send his um, confidence sky high, and uh, he will basically go off and, you know, try and get revenge on Sagat or something. Um, but, as you're about to see, that will take forever. Boink. This is true. You have to do better than that to no, for God's sake. Are you not entertained? <clears throat> <sighs> Whoa, a whole 55 experience points. Let's go and rub it in. What do you want? I'll to laugh in your face. You beat me in the dueling ring and now you're going to rub it in my face. Yes. Well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Wow, you sure have a bad attitude. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Uh, Even it, a rookie it like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. I am. Everyone's better they than are. me. They are. Blindfolded, one-legged tack with a rusty knife could probably, probably. beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? Yes. You satisfied? Very yet? much. Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Um, yeah, you know what? I'm really happy right now. <clears throat> you know it, son. Let's go get some monies. Good fight, good fight! People like you, mysterious stranger. The better lot when you fight. It makes me happy and rich. I always pay my debts. You won, so you get paid. Ten percent of the purse, that was the deal. Here's your credits. You come see me when you're ready to fight again. Do you know, say what you like about the huts, and there's plenty to say about these grossly overweight slug things, but, you know, they are business people, you know, at, at heart, so, you know, I guess that deal's a deal with them, but, you know, fair's fair, we made a bargain, let's go bop someone else in the head. Oh, mysterious stranger, <clears throat> I knew you'd be back, they all come back, it's the bungee cord I attached to your belt. You fought well last time. People like you, stranger. They bet lots on your last fight. They'll be... they'll... They'll... I assume that's meant to be. They'll bet more on your next fight. You get 10%, same as always. Want to step into the ring now? Are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelists on Taris? Oh, I am absolutely ready for a duel. You handled Duncan pretty well. I think you're ready to fight Girl on two fingers. Just remember, Girl on uses blasters in the ring sometimes. You're ready to step into the arena. Yep. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. Okay. We have a very special presentation in store. I think you're obviously going to be there, son. In this corner, one <clears throat> of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. Mm -hmm. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. It occurs to me. The mysterious stranger. It occurs to me. <clears throat> if they did come across a crew manifest from the Indar Spire, would there not also be pictures? 
I mean, this is, well, it's not this a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away, but it's still sort of, you know, high-tech sort of thing. Um, so, if the Sith are in any way even mildly competent, I'm sure they will have... Yeah! Some are watching the entertainment feeds. Hmm. So... Well, indeed. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Well, only time will tell indeed. Because, I mean, any sensible occupying force would monitor everything. And, you know, these aren't exactly, you know, a secret, secret contest going on here. Um, yeah. Ultimately, this doesn't, even using a fake name, this really doesn't seem like a particularly sensible course of action. On the other hand, I am hiding out 200 yards from where I crashed. Ah, well, let's go and mock girl on. You beat me <coughs> fair and square, stranger. Yep. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Mm -hmm. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Oh, no doubt. But you see, this is part of my master plan for domination. I'm only going to pick on children, old people, and cripples. Let's go get some money. Good fight, good fight. Yo, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It makes him happy and rich. He always pays debts. Lots of monies. All right. Nice. Oh, mysterious stranger! I knew you'd be back! They all come back! I've implanted a little device in your brain, and I've got a remote control of my backside. You want to set up another fight, right? The ring is in your blood now, like a T-virus! You need to hear the cheers of the crowd! You need to rush a battle! You need to fight again! <laughs> Bestel Santaris, yes, yes I do. I am ready for a duel. I think you're ready to go against the Ice Human. She's tough, but so are you. There'll be lots of action on this fight. A huge purse. Are you ready? I prefer a wallet, but yeah, okay, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your yeah, a bit more special, I guess. We have a special presentation in store for you over in this corner. A woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. Indeed. She's cold and quick as death itself. No doubt. You know her. You love her. Oh, steel on her bones. It's like Lady corner, Deathstroke, I guess. And, you know, adamantium and... Is it Lady Deathstroke? That's the... the yeah. Alright. This one's going to be tough. Boink. Boink. Oh! That's annoying. Boink! Now, I, I, I hope the fact that I threw a load of grenades at you will not affect our relationship in any manner. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? Well, you know, the galaxy's the limit, really, isn't it, mate? Ooh, that was surprisingly tough. You know what? I'm, oh, I'm going to say it now. Um, I don't think I'm going to risk Marl or Twitch. Um, until I've leveled up a bit. But what I will do is laugh in her face. <laughs> I've never been one to shy away from the cold. cold. <laughs> what a pun! I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. Indeed not. I know when I'm over mad. Good, good, good. You're good. Very good. Well, thank you. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to war. Well, no, I just wanted to laugh at you, really. I really don't have anything more to say. 
So you might as well move on. Okay, I mean, I wasn't expecting a quick knee trembler out the back. But, um, whatever! Let's get some monies. Good fight. Get some monies, 10%. Alrighty! Um, how long has this been going? Give me a second. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to call that a day for this one. Um, when we come back, we won't be fighting Twitch or Marl, because that is going to be tough. So. Uh, Alrighty. Alright. So, um. Until next time, keep on gaming in the free world.